Haunted by the events that took place on the mining ship Ishimura and strange visions of his dead girlfriend, engineer Isaac Clark can't escape the horrors of his past, as the necromorph infection follows him to a space station orbiting Saturn known as the Sprawl. Dead Space 2 forces you to contend with Isaac's growing dementia in addition to hideous monsters to survive. Freakish hallucinations will certainly provide a few shocks, but the marauding alien corpse monsters pose a much more violent and persistent threat. You'll constantly need a weapon ready to deal with whatever might be around the next corner. Dismembering enemies with mining tools like the plasma cutter is still a dominant strategy, but one of the new weapons, the javelin gun, fires a metal spike that can be electrified after impact by pressing the alternate fire button. It's great for quickly frying a single creature, and the electrical storm will affect other nearby targets as well. Meanwhile, existing weapons have been outfitted with new alternate fire modes, such as the pulse rifle's ability to launch destructive grenades, and new enemies are introduced to ensure that your new arsenal is put to the test. It's immediately clear that the infection has done nasty things to the civilian population, with infant-like enemies known as the Pack attacking in groups, and a new kind of monstrosity that spews acidic puke your way. Veterans of Dead Space will be glad to know that the power of science is still on their side with the stasis and kinesis ability. Stasis again lets you slow down enemies or objects to buy you precious time, while your expanded kinesis ability now lets you rip parts off of enemies and launch them as weapons. Your technological tricks give you advantages in combat, give you the means to solve some of the game's puzzles, and serve as an entertaining means of screwing around. Getting around the 